Good morning, Parkside. Welcome to this week's encouragement video. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, you know, what's encouraging me today has honestly just been reflection back on uh, the last weekend here at Parkside and the commissioning service, commissioning weekend for Ben and Maria Walker. And I had a chance to talk to a lot of different people in a lot of different contexts. And of course, we're thrilled to send them to Germany. Uh, but I want to take a step back and tell you about that weekend, maybe from a little bit different perspective, and just see how ordinary steps of Christian discipleship have led to this opportunity. And I want you to put yourself into some of these storylines and see how maybe God might be using you this week. I want to rewind 42 years ago. 42 years ago in Germany, there was a Catholic man named Michael. Michael met a Christian who said, could I teach you English by reading the Bible? And Michael read the Bible with him and learned English with him. He became a Christian. Three years later, planted a church. And now 39 years later, that man, Michael, came to Parkside after planting a church and helping to establish eight or 10 other churches in that area. He was here because a Christian said, would you read the Bible with me and let's learn English together. We have another man, Samuel, a German man. Samuel was here this weekend. He serves as an attorney or he works as an attorney in Western Germany, as well as a lay elder at City Church in St. Vindel, Germany, where uh, Ben and Maria will be serving as well. Samuel's there faithfully serving. He's a uh, an attorney during the day and recognizes God has called me to lead in the church as well. And he's listened to the voice of the Lord. He was able to come and be at Parkside. We were able to build relationships with him. Here's a guy who's just saying, Lord, all of my life is yours. I'm going to serve however I can. I'm going to say about another guy, a guy named Sam. Sam lives on the north side of Indy right now. He uh, works for Servant Leaders International. Sam's a software developer. And uh, at one point, maybe 10, 12 years ago, Sam unexpectedly lost his job as the president of his company. Big surprise there. Uh, but he kept an open mind and open hands towards God, saying, God, I'll do whatever you have me to do. And through that... God redirected his life where Sam is now serving in his local church on the north side of Indy in a lay capacity as a counselor. He's now working in a vocational sense for a missions organization doing software development, syncing up different missionaries all around the globe. There was a scenario 12 years ago that could have been crushing in his life, but he kept an open hand towards God saying, God, my time, my talent, my treasure is all yours. How can you use me for your kingdom? Now, in all of these scenarios, you might suggest, I'm not a church planter. I don't run a missions organization. I'm not a lawyer. That's true. You may not be. But each of these individuals that were here this weekend, were seeing unique circumstances saying, how can I embody a culture of discipleship today to recognize as a Christian, what's normal is that I am making disciples and it'll look different in every season of life. And as everybody came together this weekend, it was really cool to see just different touch points and how God had used people. Friends, keep your eyes open this week. There's an opportunity to make disciples wherever you go. And I look forward to hearing from you on how you can do that. That leads me to this Sunday. We'll be finishing up this vision series on sending into the world. I'm excited to open Acts 17 with you and look at it. Uh, it'll be uh, a lot of fun. I, I've been very excited. I'm, I'm planning to, uh, well, I won't steal my own thunder. I'm looking forward to it. Here's the other thing I'm looking forward to. Sunday night. Uh, we will launch our next round of PTMs, Pathways to Maturity. I'll be teaching a class called Engaging Roman Catholics. Uh, I hope you'll register to be there. Uh, if you're not going to be at that, I do hope you'll come to Pastor Casey's class called Cloud of Witnesses, looking at lessons we can learn from church history and people who have uh, been striving to maintain pure doctrine uh, through the years, missional focus, telling others about Jesus. Uh, and I know you'll benefit from that as well. So two Sunday night classes coming up as well. Parkinson, I love you. I look forward to seeing you Sunday. Hope you have a great week.